WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, pretty sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently have all U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's up 512 points, 1.5 percent. S&P down 1 and 8 tenths, or 78 points. 2 and 3 tenths for the Nasdaq 100, 306 points there. 1 and 9 tenths for the Russell 2000, that's 36 points to the downside. You've got gold trading down 12 bucks, 1750. Silver's off 14 cents, 1892 is the print there. Lights recruit is back $3.47, trading out at 8697. Natural gas is up a quarter, that's a big move there, trading out at 956. And a 30 year treasury down 12 ticks, 13803 is the print. Let's go spend a little time with our nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini, the upper left hand side. What do we know? The ES Mini right now is cutting through support, and that is the bottom of its daily profile if we take a look at the es mini here price has not traded below the bottom of profile since the june low so we, we do get a close today below 41.77 that's going to signal a change in trend we'll try to figure out where price is headed to during the traders edge show if we take a look at that spot volatility x it is trading up into the 50-day exponential moving average the 50-day is printing at 2367 the spot volatility x is printing at 2359 so it's still below that level. So that says that the break to the downside in the S&P is a bit suspect. Now that'll change if we get a close above that 50 day at 2367. The problem is we'll have a one day rate of change above plus 10%. And that usually leads to a bouncer bottom on the very next trading session. So we'll certainly look at that during the Trader's Edge show. We can see that natural, uh, the NQ is trading below the bottom of its daily profile as well. 13.041 is a key level. There is a new weekly profile that is attempting to form. So if we do close below 13.041, the suggestion is a pullback to 12.565. U.S. dollar index is taking out resistance. That's the resistance of the top of its weekly profile. Of course, it's only Monday, but a close above 108.39 suggests higher price. Yet gold, which had a nice move to the downside, is still off with 11, 12 bucks, 14 bucks this morning. It's dealing with the uh, support of its uh, bearish structured daily profile. A close today below 1757.50 brings that 1716 area into play. The case of silver, it's pulled back into the support area of its bullish structured weekly profile and then it's held so that's a bullish thing unless price were to close below eighteen dollars and forty seven cents lights recruit is just consolidating between trend line support trend line resistance testing the bottom of its daily profile at 86.25 and even though we've got a nice day going in natural gas it is bar number nine of a td9 count while price is up at resistance at nine dollars and fifty six cents it looks like a short-term top is getting ready to form in the case of natural gas. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you're off to start your Monday, we want you to have a magnificent one. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you again soon.